Yo, YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Potsy, and today I'm bringing you some WWE 2K15 My Career. Now, in the last episode, you saw me get pissed off. As you see, in the, I lost to, like, Tommy, Tommy, whatever his name was, Big Giant Dude. And in the, last, in the next match, I faced Ray Rich, and I completely destroyed him. So now I'm feeling a little better, because now I'm, I'm kind of getting, you know, right around the title shot. As you see right here, William Regal tell me that now I'm working with, with the top NXT guys, so most likely probably like Sami Zayn, Corey Graves, um, Adrian Neville, which I believe is the NXT champion, so most likely I won't get him. Maybe Rusev, but uh, there's one man that I didn't mention, and that man is, uh, well, he's um, very inspirational. If my, yep, it's Bo Dallas. So now I'll be facing Bo Dallas. And hopefully, if I beat him, I will face Adrian Neville for the championship. So let's go on to the match against Bo Dallas. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey, the Warlock Russ Chris. And approaching the ring from Brooksville, Florida, weighing 234 pounds, Bo Dallas. Okay, so now we face Bo Dallas, Mr. NXT, Bo Lee, one of the top, pretty much NXT superstars, and pretty much, I think, I believe that held the NXT uh, title for a very long reign. In NXT, because it's NXT title, I mean, simple as that. <laughs> as you see, Ruck is completely destroying Bo Dallas right here. A little bit about Bo Dallas. I really like this character. I mean, this this guy is a pretty much, I believe, a third-generation superstar. His brother is uh, Bray Wyatt, if you didn't know. They are both related. They're both blood brothers, even though they really don't look alike at all, which is really weird. They are the father of who was in the WWE and WCW, I believe, IRS and WWE. E, and then when he went to WCW, it was uh, Wall Street. It's, just, it's a very sad name in WCW, but, I mean, it pretty much got the point across. Um, with Bo Dallas, I really enjoy the character a lot. I think this now he finally uh, found a character that people will hate because he's so inspirational and he's always positive. But, you know, he's he's Bo Dallas, and it's what <laughs> which I believe I like. And uh, right now, I think I believe he's injured. I think he should be coming back soon as I get the high knee to the face to Bo Dallas. Excuse me, hit the mic. Um, I think he had, he had like a real bad injury during a tour or like a house show. He like he had a little bad, uh, pretty bad leg injury as he gets the spine buster. And um, yeah, because I mean, he's off for a little bit. He should like it was supposed to be like three to six weeks, so he should be ready to go coming back soon. Because I'm ready to hear that that uh, that theme music come out. I will be buying his shirt because it's it's so. I the reason people ask me why are you buying his shirt? It's, it's Bo Dallas. The character is hilarious. This is why it's sports entertainment. You're entertained. That's why I want to get the Bo Dallas shirt because when somebody you know if I see usually down you know a wrestling show, they're gonna be like Bo leave. I'll be like thumbs up in the air going Bo leave. You know. Now you talk to my friends in your, you know, people I work with, you know, the guy I work with, uh, a big uh, wrestling fan as well. So we'll pretty much talk to each other as, you know, hey, buddy. Pretty much what anything with Bo Dallas says, we we just interpret because it it's hilarious. The character is hilarious, and I really enjoy uh, Bo Dallas. So hopefully, when uh, the Royal Rumble comes in January, I think believes in Philly. Hopefully, I can go, but um, I don't think I can get tickets. They were a little bit um expensive. For me and uh, pretty much my brother, we're like, uh, we'd rather just watch on the network and just pretty much just get drunk at the house. That sounds a bit fair, but um, yeah, it's cool though, because I mean they barely come to Philly, especially on a pay per view. They barely, you know, come. I think the, um, the last pay per view I went was uh, Night of Champions. I think like oh, 2012, 2013. It was the it was Punk was World Heavyweight Champion against Jeff Hardy. That was the match. And then, like, uh, I, that's the one on top of my head that I really remember back. Uh, they, like, 
Cena and so I didn't even care about that. I cared. I just wanted to see CM Punk and Jeff Hardy. One of my two favorite wrestlers, you know, back you know, pretty much when I was a little kid, it was you know Jeff Hardy, and then now it was a little bit of Punk. It was Cena at the like uh, for a little bit, like when I was a teenager, like the Chang Gang and stuff, and then. Once I started getting into YouTube and all that, I found Ring of Honor and, like, other indie wrestlers. And I just stumbled upon CM Punk, and I was like, oh, I like this dude a lot. Complain and simple. He had, like, back in the indies, he had the cult personality uh, themes music as well. And I was like, oh, I like this song. But, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, with, um, hopefully we can go to Royal Rumble. You know, I think it, in this year's Royal Rumble, it's the 40-man Rumble. So there's 10 other superstars, so most likely you're going to see Legends, or if it's in Philly, you're going to see some ECW originals, hopefully, you know, maybe you probably see Tommy Dreamer, maybe, maybe Sabu, you know, all, all these guys, usually, you know, uh, ECW original here, and I get the package pile driver, so most likely, that's going to be over, and we're going to send this and go to face Adrian Neville here, when, what, <laughs> he's believing right now, you kicked out of the package pile driver. Nobody does that. And look at Bo Dallas going getting some momentum here. What the hell is going on? I'm just talking about how this I really enjoy his character. And at the whole point, I'm trying to whip y'all ass, okay? That's the whole point. I'm just trying to show respect. And then you, Bo Dallas, decides to kick out of my package pile driver? What the hell are you thinking, bro? Now now I'm in a pissed off mind state right now. Don't piss me off. This is why the last episode, when I lose, where I have feeling a comeback, I feel like I have to break your neck with the package pile driver. As you see, Bo Dallas getting reversal here and getting the bulldog, pretty much getting the bow dog, and he's gonna roll for the cover. One, slow ass referee. Two, and th what? What the hell is going on? Bo Dallas just beat Ruckus. What? The man kicked out of my package pile driver. Oh, they threw everything they what? Had at each other in this match. <laughs> what? And hit me with the bow dog? And that wasn't even the running bow dog. It was just the bull. It's the bow dog. <sighs> you know what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Here is your winner. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll give that. It's Bo Dallas. He's been here. Okay. I'm a rookie. I understand. He he knows. He's 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 young, but he's he's getting. He knows what to do here, man. This is his home, and I gotta. This is this is some BS, though. Okay. I'm a giant compared to Bo Dallas, and he has the audacity to hit the bow dog on me and get the one, two, three. Nah, mate. Nah, that's not gonna fly. Okay. As you see here, we get a three star rating. I can understand. But it's cool. Hopefully in the next you know episode you see William Regal here telling me no matter what it was a pretty good match. And now I will be giving a no one contender spot. So next episode you will see me face Adrian Neville, the NXT champion. And hopefully that belt belongs pretty much to me. And it'll be you know around my waist. Well actually I got a big gut, so I don't think it'll be it'll be on my shoulder, most likely as I'm tapping my shoulder right now. Be on my shoulder in the next episode, and I promise you that because I am ruckus. Okay, I need to find like an outro for him. If you guys can, you know, go in the comments, it would be like a good outro, like Taz, like survive, you know, beat me if you can, survive, I let you, something like that. Put in the comments, and I will say at the end of the video. So like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>